Hi there guys, I'm Nigel from Greedy Tech and in this video I'll be unboxing the new Infinix Note 5 stylus which also comes with a stylus. So guys this is the box and as far as I know this is currently the cheapest phone and probably the only phone that comes with a stylus under 20,000 rupees. At least this is the latest generation smartphone. So this is the box and on the front they probably see Infinix Note 5 stylus, at the bottom it says Android 1. So this phone just like the Infinix Note 5 is also part of Android 1 program and you will be receiving continuous security and software updates for the next 2-3 to three years which is a pretty great thing. Now besides that just the preview of the phone just looks amazing. I never saw a red phone, not even OnePlus 6 or the 60, 60 hasn't come out, not even OnePlus 6. So this would be my first red phone and I am really excited about it. Now coming back to the phone itself, this is a review unit so I don't have the complete list of specifications or the pricing. But this phone is priced at 17,000 rupees, that's the MRP. So this phone should be priced somewhere around 15,000 rupees and it will be sold exclusively on Flipkart. It comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, a stylus pen, that's the USP. By the way, it is called X Stylus. Infinix really likes to call everything as X. They have the X Charger, X Stylus, even their operating system is called XOS. Now on the back we have some highlighting features like the X Pen, new aspect ratio, that's 18 is to 9. 16 megapixel rear camera that's a single camera and a 16 megapixel front facing camera with a 4000 milliampere battery and a unibody metal design and yes it's made in india so without any more delay let's just get on with unboxing so guys on the front just like all the previous infinix phones we have the phone itself with a pretty huge sticker and this is the red color and it looks really amazing i'll just come back to it in a minute next we have a sim card ejector with a paper case it probably has some documentations and a free screen guard pre in i mean a free screen guard it's not pre-applied and at the bottom it says meet your google assistant in the product page at least in the google product page of this product they were boosting about google features like google photos google search engine google assistant well that's something you can find on every other phone so that's nothing awesome. Now this is the free TPU case that we get inside the box which I really appreciate. And for the first time I wish it was transparent to show off this red color. Once again let me just put that aside. Next we have flat style micro USB cable. And this is also one another thing that I really like about Infinix phones. They're not regular cables, you get a flat cable. It's really not a huge deal but it just has a different presence. Finally we have the X charger with a maximum output of 18 watts. So this phone supports fast charging and also comes with a fast charger inside the box, which is a pretty great thing. Now coming to the phone, this is how it looks on the back. This is a red color. On the back we have the regular stickers with IMEA number, SIM card information, buttons information and so on. Let me just remove the sticker. It's pretty hard. Short break. Okay. A small sticker for the red camera. By the way, this phone has a single red camera. That's kind of surprising because almost all the phones these days come with four cameras, even two cameras on the front, so a bit surprising. Now coming back to the front, once again we have the most highlighting features like the X-Pen and blah 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 which I've already mentioned. That feels satisfying. Now this is how the phone looks on the front and this is how the phone looks on the back. It's a complete unimodi metal design and obviously it looks and feels pretty amazing. And I guess this is the first phone from Infinix, at least the one that I got with a unibody metal design. Now the most highlighting feature about this phone would be the X pen and here it is. And just like a pen you do get this action which is pretty nice. And I guess even the S pen has it. You also get a button over here. By the way guys this is the first time I'm looking at it so it's pretty new for me as well. So here's the button and you also have a button over here. Let's see if it has any purpose once we turn on the phone. Anyway, now let's have a quick physical overview and then check out the specs. On the back, this phone has a complete unibody metal design with antenna bands at the top and bottom. And at the center, it has a 16 megapixel rear camera with f1.8 aperture, followed by a pretty huge fingerprint scanner, dual LED flash, Infinix branding at the center. And at the bottom, it says Note, designed by Infinix and Android One. Now on the front, it has a 6 inch IPS display with Full HD Plus resolution with a new 18 to 9 aspect ratio with finer nits of brightness and a 2.5D curved glass. Now about the display, it has a 16 megapixel front facing camera with f2.0 aperture, earpiece and a dedicated front facing flash. At the bottom, it is completely plain. Now on the right side, it has a power and volume buttons made of metal and also have a nice clicky feel to them. 
On the left side, it has a SIM card tray housing a nano SIM slot along with a hybrid SD card slot, which is kind of new for a phone from Infinix. Usually, most of the Infinix phones that I've seen come with a dedicated SD card slot. Now, at the top, it is completely plain, and at the bottom, we have the 3.5mm audio jack, primary microphone, micro USB charging port, mono speaker, and the X Pen. Now, coming to the internal specifications, under the hood, this phone sports a MediaTek Helio P23 processor with Mali G71 MP2 GPU with 4GB of RAM, 64GB of storage, with a 4000mAh battery, running Android 8.1 Oreo based on Android 1 program. Finally, this phone has a thickness of 8.4mm and weighs 195 grams. Now that's pretty high and I thought the extra weight was because of the X Pen, but the X Pen itself weighed just 3 grams, so this phone is definitely pretty heavy or at least it sounds heavy on the paper. Now this is the free case that we get inside the box, let me just put it on. Now this is how the phone looks with the free case that we get inside the box and as I've said it would have looked much more appealing if it was completely transparent. And at the bottom we have all these cutouts and we have flaps for the charging port and the 3.5mm audio jack which is pretty good. And the entire area for the speaker grill and the X Pen has been left open. Now this case is pretty sleek and pretty lightweight so it won't increase the weight of the phone altogether. And it has a slightly raised lip for the camera and even for the display. So even if you put the phone directly on its face or its back, it won't scratch the camera module or the display. So that's pretty good. Now let me turn on the phone and set it up and see what we get right out of the box. So guys, this is how the phone looks once we turn it on. And as you can see, there is absolutely no bloatware. And to my surprise, there is no FM radio either. So if that's something you're looking forward to, then there is no FM radio on this phone. Now let's check out the about page first. So this phone is running pure stock Android based on Android 8.1.0 that's Oreo and it has the latest October security patch which is still pretty great considering it's still November. Now coming to storage out of that 64GB of space we get about 53.22GB of free space for our user apps and user data. Now to check the amount of free RAM we need to first enable developer options for that go to about and click the build number 7 times and enter your password and once you're done go back and select developer options now select memory so it seems like we have about 2.5 gigabytes of free ram right out of the box so that also is pretty great now this is the camera interface and it's the same thing we have been seeing on previous infinix phones we have all these modes and you can swipe left or right to change between different modes and on the right side it has portrait mode even though this phone comes with just single camera so just like some of its previous phones, it should be using some software processing to add background blur effect. Now on the left side we have the video mode and we can record video in 1080p. And in the mode section we have professional mode that's manual mode, panorama, night mode and time lapse. Now this is the interface for the front facing camera, by default it jumps into beauty mode. Next we have the normal mode and finally the bouquet mode which simply adds a blur effect to the background. Now on the leftmost side we have the video mode and after that we have different modes. We have wide selfie and time lapse. Now these are some sample pictures taken using the front and rear cameras. So guys, now let's test the fingerprint scanner. So we have it over here and it's very easily accessible to the index finger. And when I use the correct finger, it won't give me any feedback, just the phone unlocks. But if I use the wrong fingerprint, the phone gives a nice haptic feedback. Now let's test it. Now this fingerprint scanner is definitely pretty fast but not the fastest. It is probably like the second or third best thing out there which is still pretty good. Now this phone doesn't come with any face unlock feature but if you want to use it, you can use the Google smart lock or trusted face feature. So to enable it, come to smart lock settings and select trusted face. From here you need to register your face. And now it's reading my face or enrolling my face. Now it's done. Now I'll see how well it works. Now unlike your regular face unlock, you have to manually swipe up to unlock the phone. So first we need to wake it up and then swipe up to unlock. So it seems to be working pretty fast and we don't know how fast it is as it doesn't unlock automatically. Now let's see if it works in low lighting conditions. Now there are just pretty small bulbs in the background and let's see if it works and it still works and it failed. Okay once again it seems to be working. 
So guys, this trusted face feature is working even in low lighting conditions. So that's pretty great. Now let's test the most interesting thing about this phone. That's this X Pen. And it does come with a lot of functionality, a lot of features. And as you have seen, once you pull it out, a dedicated application opens up. So we have some quick instructions. It says idea recorder for you and screenshot helper for you. And finally create land for you. And it's asking us to draw something over here. So let's draw that. Okay. Now these are some important tips. So if we use a tempered glass on it, this X Pen might not work properly. So it's better to use a screen guard for this phone. And now we are in the notes section. My handwriting is pretty bad. Let's go back. So let's try to create an artwork. Okay, let's see what this button does. That's okay. So guys, this is the new X Pen. Now let's have a quick physical overview of the pen first and then we'll talk about functionality. Now at the top, it has a nice clicky button just like the S Pen. Following that, we have the Infinix branding on the front and back. And over here, we have a dedicated button once again, just like the S Pen. And it has three functionalities. If you click it once, it'll open up a hover window, which I'll show you in a minute. Next, if you do a double tap, it'll open a quick memo. And finally, if you do a long press, it'll switch between the regular brush and eraser. Now at the top, it has this very interesting design where these gold plated probes or electrodes or what you want to call them are for charging. So unlike the previous generation of Samsung S pens or the Samsung Note series, you can either insert them in this way or this way and it's not going to be a problem. So this is probably a huge breakthrough for Samsung, but they've done it from the initial steps. Anyway, Here's the nib at the top and unlike the Samsung phones, we don't get extra nibs and there's probably no way to remove it as well. Now for an interesting feature, though copied from the Samsung phones, when your phone is locked, you can directly remove the S Pen and it'll open up the memo. You can start writing from the get go. And all these things will be saved in your notes file. That's Xnote, which I'll show you in a minute. So this is the Xnote application. You can also open it from the home screen. You also get an application in the app drawer. And once you open this X Pen, you get this notification icon over here that says the pen has been removed. And you also get this floating bubble or a sidebar. Once you click it, you will get a hovering menu. Now at the top, we have the option to create note, write memo, view files, take a screenshot and an option for painting. Now let's go create a page. Now if you look closely, there's a small dot following the pen and we can use it to hover over things for additional information. As you can see, I'm not touching the screen, but still I'm getting some information. And we can also hover it over here to get to see that. So this X Pen is definitely a pretty nice concept and it is working without any problems. So for now, we'll have to see how people will respond for this kind of a thing in a phone at this price range. Now for the final test, let's see how the speaker sounds on this phone. So guys, the speaker on this phone is pretty loud and you won't be having any problem with ringtones, alarms or even media consumption. In terms of speaker loudness, it is definitely one of the best in the price segment. So guys, this is the new Infinix Note 5 stylus. Well, honestly, in terms of design and build and all the features it packs like the Android one, bigger battery, fast charging and this amazing looking red color unibody metal design all look pretty exciting. Especially this new X Pen gives you a new way to interact with your phone and gives you a lot of option to show off. So what do you think about this phone and this new X Pen? What are your expectations and what do you think about this phone? How do you think it fares? Do let me know by commenting below this video and if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel and if you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and I'll try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.